Hi guys. Okay, so I am going to attempt to do a crystal reading. Um, but it's really interesting as soon as I um, as soon as I turn the camera on, somebody walks in the store. I have been trying to do this all morning. And every time I turn the camera on, somebody walks in. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Please invite your friends. Um, hi there, guys. Welcome. <laughs> uh, but every time I turn the camera on, somebody walks in the store. This time, I'm just going to let it keep going, even if somebody comes in. So, hello, so Solara, Clara. I can't, you know what? I need my glasses on because... Somehow that little gray part up there just doesn't show up. I knew it as soon as I turned the camera on, somebody walked in. Hi, welcome. <laughs> um, so I'm, I am going to um, choose for the guys of you that are here. Please invite your friends. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, you swipe to the right, I think it is, or the left. And then invite the people who are following you to join us here. And also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter. But follow me here on Periscope because this is where the live readings are. If you have questions about uh, crystals, gems, minerals, psychic stuff and whatnot, feel free to um, either type it in or um, send me a private message either on Twitter or Facebook and I'll get that and I will answer them if I have an answer, which I usually do. Um, okay, so this is exciting. Okay. Um, and I appreciate hearts. Thank you so much. I like the hearts. Tap on your screen. Let me know that you can hear me and that um, this is making some kind of sense to you. <laughs> okay. My Yalapa joint. Y'all pause. Welcome. Where are you guys from? Tell me where, you, where everybody is from and what time of day it is where you are. I'm curious. Curious Jane here. Florida. Okay. Welcome. I've been there. It's very flat. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? Green, green Team, South, Southern California, Salt Lake City. Wow. <laughs> well, I am coming to you from Kailua Kona, Hawaii. Um, and I wish I could do this reading by the beach, but I'm stuck at work right now, so <laughs> so that's just kind of the way it is. Now, the way this works, as long as there's not too many people on, and right now there's like six, um, if we get up to above ten, then I won't be able to do one for everybody. But um, normally I do, I pull a card for each of you and give you just a, little, a brief little synopsis of what's up for you for the day and, or for the next 24 hours. And then I also pull a card and tell you what the overall energy for the day is, which is what I'm going to do right now. And the overall energy for the day is tiger eye. Tiger eye looks like this. That's what the stone looks like. And um, the energy of tiger eye has to do with tying up loose ends and finishing up things that um, are kind of holding on to your energy and keeping you from having full energy to go forward. So um, it's, it's a particular stone for procrastinators and those of us who put stuff off and say, oh, I'm going to get to it tomorrow, or oh, I'll get to it tomorrow. <laughs> tiger eye is the stone for you. And it doesn't have to be... For those of you who are not sure how stones work, you don't have to be wearing this, although it is beneficial to wear it, but you don't have to be wearing it. It can just be in your environment and it will work for you. Um, there is an energy that stones put off when they're in your environment, as well as the trace minerals that you absorb from them when you're wearing them. Okay, and let me see who's here. Hi guys, let's see. How do I do this? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I am going to start at the top. And, oh, gosh, it keeps moving. Okay, Tina Green. Hi, Tina, where are you from? You, I think you told me. You, are you the one that's from Florida? Hmm. I guess I can either see your names or I can see this thing. I can't see both. Maybe I should do this on the iPad, then I'd have a bigger screen. Tina. 
<laughs> the energy for you today is Herkimer Diamond. And a Herkimer Diamond looks like this. Um, I don't know if you can see that real well. Um, but it's a naturally faceted um, quartz crystal that is found in Herkimer, New York. And the energy of Herkimer Diamond has to do with being in touch with your dream time and being able to pull messages from dream time and use them in your day to day. I told you guys people were gonna come in, see there's somebody that's there. <laughs> as I'm, soon and as I'm, I and I'm right from near Herkimer, New York. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're beautiful diamonds. They are absolutely stunning. It's the only quartz crystal that you don't have to facet or anything right. because it is just so beautiful and yeah. so brilliant. Very powerful. Um if you get a chance to go to Herkimer, New York, I would suggest that you cruise through there and take a look. They do have like places where you can go dig them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yali, Y-A-L-Y. -Y. Let's see what's up for you. And Dioptes. Dioptes is really a pretty stone. Um, I hope you can see that. It's usually found in Brazil. Um, you can also find it in Mexico and sometimes in parts of the United States. The energy of Dioptase has to do with living in the now and being very present with what's going on now. People that are attracted to it oftentimes are those who um, they either project their energy into, you know, what's coming or they're busy focusing on what's going on, um, what has happened and, you know, how they can change it and all of that. And dioptase is about being presently focused. It also helps you to raise and calm your energy. So obviously if you're currently focused, if you're focused in the now, then you're going to be a lot more calm than if you're worried about the future or reminiscing about the past and on a physiological level it helps to ease pain and it enhances digestion so it's a good one to have and to use and um, as far as being able to wear it I would say that you need to be a little careful because it's a, not a real stable stone so a lot of times people will put it in jewelry and then it ends up crumbling so um, it's better to have it like in a wand or in something where it's really protected Anthony, the stone for you is fluorite, and it looks like that. It comes in a lot of different colors. This particular one is purple, but it comes in yellow, it comes in green. Um, it's a stone that if you hit the natural cleavage of it, it will be um, two upside down pyramids, um, you know, hooked together in the middle. And the energy of fluoride has to do with staying focused in your own energy. So there's a lot of a lot of focus now on what's going on for us ourselves. The energy of fluoride has to do with staying focused in your own energy. People that are attracted to it or whom it's beneficial for are those who are very compassionate and feel that the things that are going on around them are things that they can somehow fix or help. And so people that are dear to them, they want to assist them in, in making things easier. And the best way to assist the people around you is to see them as whole, complete, perfect, see everything is working out for them, and make sure that they know that you have faith in them. That will get them a whole lot more assistance then you're trying to fix it for them or you're trying to help them because when you step out there and try to take over and fix it for them they feel disempowered and even though that's not what you mean that's not what you're trying to do but that's how their mind interprets it even though they might say thank you they still feel disempowered so you know go for a walk go meditate see them as whole completely perfect and let them work their way through it because really ultimately if they work their way through it they're stronger because of that okay Clara <laughs> um, I just like mixed up all of my cards here oh, hi Louise you guys have questions pop them in there 
Let me see. Well, that's weird. I just got the Herkimer Diamond again. Let's see if there's also another one. Moldavite. Moldavite is a gem grade meteorite that is from Czechoslovakia. It was extremely popular in the mid 90s and, and early 2000s. It's not so popular now, um, although it is just as um, valuable for people to use. And the energy of Moldavite has to do with enhanced and, and accelerated spiritual growth. So it is a spiritual growth that is going to move you far ahead very quickly. Um, and I would say that it's a stone that you need to carefully wear. Not, um, you know, just load yourself up with it because if you do, you're going to be overwhelmed. Um, but it is a very beautiful stone. It's a meteorite. It's from outer space. And it brings in all of that uh, extraterrestrial, interdimensional energies. Luis, I saw you and then I didn't see you. So I am going to go ahead and pull a card for you. Um, because probably you will listen to this later. And you will get this information. So, Luis, Azurite. Azurite is connection to psychic um Connection to psychic insight. It stimulates your psychic ability and it helps to provide clear understanding of what it is that you get as psychic insight. And psychic insight is not necessarily something like me reading these cards or somebody staring in a tea leaf cup. Um, it has to do with following your intuition. So it's, it's a lot more... Um, there's a lot more to it than what we see in the movies and that kind of thing. It's being able to hear your inner voice and follow it and being able to impart that information to other people as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know that you guys are all busy too. Um, please invite your friends to follow me on Facebook, The Crystal Guide. You follow me on Facebook if you have questions. Please ask them there or send me a private message. Thank you. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Aloha. Thank you for the hearts. I love you all. Goodbye.